latest exhibition on the Midway, the show that's got everything. All right, all right, you say that's not enough. You say you're not satisfied. Say you want more of your money. All right, tell you what I'm going to do. Jimmy Lynch. Well, give me two. Now, Henry, you're not going to do this. Hiya, Margie. Hiya, Hank. How's the old stick in the mud? He wants to ask Jimmy Lynch to let him drive with the death dodgers. Ah, he couldn't drive a bargain. Listen, I've been practicing a whole year. Oh, let him go. Jimmy won't hire him, and you come on in with me. I will go with you, but if you're going to be stubborn... Maybe you better. I'll see you later. That's what you think. Come on, Marge. I'm not stubborn, but I'm going to see Jimmy Lynch. Come on. Oh, I can ride anything, Mr. Lynch. Maybe you can. But our kind of driving is different. It takes nerve and training. Yes, sir, but I can do it. I can't do that, and you know it. Attention. Here they come, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a commercial show, but people ask us what cars we use. Based on 13 years' experience, we use only Dodge automobiles. Regular stock cars, the same that you'll find at your local Dodge dealers. The mufflers are disconnected, not for greater speed, but to show you how we control the cars through power. All right, are you ready, gentlemen? That goes Mighty Reeves. Of course, this is just a warm-up round. And Bill Horton. Next, Jimmy Jr. Man, that's tooling it. And Jimmy Lynch Sr. Ah, beginning to tramp on a little bit. That's the way they get the feel of the track, and it's plenty fast out there today. Now, look, if you'll just let me show you, Mr. Now, look, son, I can't do that, and you know it. Yep. Write me a letter. Now, beat it. Oh, my foot caught. Clear the track. Hey, what's going on down there? Looks like he's got his foot caught in the ramp. Get him out of there by somebody. Hurry, hurry. Oh. Too late, boys. Save yourself. Just to make it tougher, introducing the three car Romans. All eyes on the cars as they hit that turn up there. But with three cars, anything can happen. Those bumpers hook, you're going to see a rollover. Watch it, boys. Got it straightened out. Up they go. Watch it, watch it. Next. Work, gentlemen. Well, that's too close for comfort. There's something you've never seen before in open convertibles. Three car Romans in a triple crossover. Watch them now. That's the first one. Now the jump. Now the second crossover. Now. And the third one. Ooh, what? Driving a beautiful job. While they're getting ready for the truck jump, we're slipping in a quick one to teach the boys and girls not to hook rides on the backs of cars and trucks. Rabbit and Hart will drop off the back of a speeding automobile. Watch. Ooh, that was a nasty one. Remember, boys and girls, Rabbit risks his neck so you won't ever hook rides on cars. It's dangerous. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about ready for the truck jump. What's that? That guy's back again, riding a 1935 Dodge like a horse. Why, it's Henry. What does he think he's doing? Come on, Susie. Whoa! Back up, Susie. Whoa! Say, that's kind of cute. Oh, anybody can do that. I'll show you. 
Give me that car. Oh, you want it? There. Okay, Susie, let's go. Wait, wait, stop. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, stop. Whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, boys. Wait a minute. You're the stick to this guy I ever did see. That's a pretty funny stunt. Oh, I can ride anything, Mr. Lynch. Well, maybe you can. I hear you got a DFC for riding a P-51 and have done some barnstorming. Yes, sir, but I'd rather be in your show. Can you obey orders? Yes, sir. Well, next is the truck jump, and my boys and I have done them thousands of times. It takes nerve and training and hitting the ramp at just the right speed. Up and over you go. You just kiss the bed of the truck and light running. Gee, that's a darb. Think you can do that? Yes, sir. Well, it isn't the same as leapfrogging a ramp with an outboard motor. No, sir, but I can do it. Well, come on. Clear the track for the truck jump. Here he comes. Better pick up a little more speed there, fella. Ooh, that's not fast enough. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the theater audience, these things happen sometimes. We wouldn't deliberately stage a miss. We have accidents, too, just like you folks do on the highways. And when they do happen, that's when we're glad we're in Dodges. We had two cameras on that jump, one from the side angle. I'm going to ask them to run that film, too. Now that we know what's going to happen, we can pay more attention to what it does to the car, because that's important to every driver. So we'll see that same jump again from the other angle. All right. I wanted you to be able to see it all clearly. Think of the terrific shock. The grill is stove in, and no wonder. But notice the condition of the body and doors. That's the kind of a car that saves lives. Are you all right? Yeah, but I spoiled the jump. I told you to take it at 50. What's the matter? Did you lose your nerve? No, I thought 45 would do it. In this business, you follow orders. Yes, sir. Next time, I will. But there won't be any next time. Oh, now, look, Mr. Lynch. I'm really serious about this. You had a start sometime, didn't you? Let me take you out in my own Dodge after the show. Okay, kid. I'll do that much after the show. I wish I had a real chance to show you what this car can do. You are telling me what a Dodge can do? Well, then, what I can do. I had a good teacher, my dad. He was a test driver for Dodge during the war. You should have seen him in action. His special pet was developing the power wagon. Dad's a quiet sort of fellow who gets fun out of simple things. He told me once he made a game of it. Every day he'd start out to see if he could drive into something that the Dodge couldn't pull out of. And he did get into some Lulu. Summer or winter, land or water made no difference to him. If anything, it just gave him a chance to make the going tougher. And night after night, I remember him coming home and telling Mom, well, I haven't had to walk back yet. I think about the most fun he ever had was the day some visitors came out to watch him. They were kidding him. So he got them in for a ride, and you should have seen where he took them. Straight up the side of a hill, all 16 at once, a 60% grade. They were pretty respectful after that, both to Dad and to Dodge. Well, that's the way I feel about fluid drive. If I could find a place, there's one. This'll do. I just want to show you that I know about fluid drive. The car is still in high. Now I'm going to step on the accelerator and let the clutch pedal come back. With the old direct drive, you know that would kill the engine or play hard with something. But listen to this. I'm racing the motor, and because it's fluid drive, it doesn't stall and no harm is being done. Just listen to it when I open the cutout. Now I'm going to drop into second gear and do the same thing again. It has even more power, but still doesn't stall and doesn't hurt anything. Now I'll shift into first. Hey, we'll get paint. Close that cutout and get us out of here. I guess I don't know my own strength.
saying, how would you like to drive? Oh, I wish I could. I've been after Henry to teach me. Well, let me teach you, sweetheart. Well... Ah, oh, come on. Let's show him. Well... Now, kid, push down with your left foot. Lift the lever with your right hand. Pull it up and back a little. Let your left foot back. And at the same time, push down with your right foot. No, no, darn it. I mean, darling. Pull the lever up and back, not down. No, put it back in the middle, in neutral. Push in with your left foot when you do it. And take your right foot off and step on the starter. Easy, I tell you. Let it in easy. Pull back on the lever. Push down on your right foot. And your left foot easy. And your right foot push down. Now see what you've done. Well, you yelled at me. Of all the dumb, here, let me take it. You ought to have your head examined. I sure had, ever coming out here with you. 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 Henry! Oh, now you'll be stuck, too. Who said so? Hop in, honey. Okay, let's go. Well, I can't drive. I just did that. So what? Well, I get my hands and feet all mixed up. There's nothing to get mixed up about in the Dodge, honey. Just take hold of the wheel. Now push down with your left foot. Push the shift lever down and back toward you. Now let your left foot come all the way back. Swell. And now push the accelerator gently with your right foot, and we'll pull right out of here. Go out. No, go on. I'll get out all right. There, you see how much easier it is to pull out of bad places like mud and sand? Even on ice. Or other cars just spin their wheels. You can often start right away with Dodge Fluid Drive. But what do you mean by fluid drive? Well, regular drive is like this. The parts are locked together. And one part turning turns the other. But with a drive through fluid, well, maybe this isn't the technical explanation, but I think you'll understand it. If you're, if you're stirring batter in a mixing bowl, the spoon will turn the whole bowl unless it's held. Oh, yes. Now, if instead of a spoon, you attach a row of fins around the inside of the bowl, and you use a power mixer with a paddle wheel arrangement, well, you can imagine how much more spin you get. Well, imagine two such bowls attached on the back of the engine flywheel, face to face, on edge, and about three quarters filled with light oil sealed in. Where does it go in the car? It goes in between the engine and the clutch. When the engine's running slowly, the fluid gently eddies around the fins and the paddle. But when the engine speeds up, the fluid is whirled rapidly against the paddle wheel attached to the clutch shaft, and that turns all parts together. So there's a fluid cushion or coupling to absorb the shocks between the engine and the wheels. Yes, I do see. You can start and stop and high if you want to, or you can shift into second for a quick getaway if necessary. But you soon learn to govern your car a good deal of the time with just your right foot. I'll open the cutout a little. As you come up behind that car, slow down with your brake. All right, now speed up again. No, don't touch the gear shift. Just move your foot from the brake to the accelerator. That's the ticket. See how slick it works? With fluid drive, lots of times you don't use the clutch at all. Why, well, I could tie your hands right to the wheel so you couldn't shift gears or use the clutch. And you could still stop, speed up, and turn corners, controlling car speed with the brake and accelerator alone. And when it comes to hill driving, well, like this. We're coming to a boulevard street up there, and you have to stop. But you see how easy it is? Shift into second, let your clutch go all the way back, speed up your engine just enough to hold it when you stop. That's it. Now just hold it with the engine. You see? You don't have to grab for emergency brakes. Okay, here we go. Just push your accelerator and away we go. Here they come, the parade that starts a two-hour circus of death. Jimmy Lynch, the internationally famous troop of death dodgers. Did you ever see an automobile driven like a bicycle on two wheels? You're going to now. 
boys have driven up on the high hurdles to show you the angle at which their cars will be riding when they come off those ramps. Hey, get away from there, Nick. It's too easy to tip a car over at that angle. Okay, fellas. Take it away, but for Pete's sake, watch yourselves. Oh, beautiful! Did I say like a bicycle? Watch closely and you'll see for a moment there as it leaves the ramp, the car is riding on one wheel. Watch that front wheel as it hits the track. The force is so great that the tire is rolled right under and that car is actually riding on the outer edge of one rim. Hang on to it, Bill. That car comes off there, it's actually overbalanced. That is trial by torture. How can an automobile possibly stand up under such treatment? Not just for one afternoon, but for show after show, all season long. The answer is in that famous Dodge box frame that you get a worm's eye view of as it goes by. There it is. Hey, look at that. Those ramps are 22 inches wide. The two tires are six inches each. Allow another couple of inches for the fenders and you see what's left. Wow! That, ladies and gentlemen, is the ultimate in precision driving. Hiya, Mr. Lynch. Oh, hello. You here again? Yes, sir. You said if I came back today, you'd put me in one of your cars. All right, son. I'll put you in one. Get right in, Henry. All right, boys. Fix him up. Fix him up. Ouch! What do you think you're doing? Play off, you guys! Let go of my feet! Ouch! Well, what's the idea? I said I'd put you in a car. I didn't say I'd let you do any driving. You're dangerous just to have around. I'll come back and let you out after the show. Come on, boys. Well, of all the... Uh... Thank you, folks. Thank you. You ain't seen nothing yet. While they're getting the track ready for the big crash stuff, I'm going to call for a talk from the man who has rolled over automobiles more than 1,800 times and never got a scratch. Listen and learn from the greatest stunt driver of all time, Jimmy Lynch. Thank you. I'm going to answer a couple of questions. So many people ask me about their own automobile. Number one, what should you do if your car goes into a skid? Turn the steering wheel in the direction the rear end of the car is skidding and step on the gas. Number two, what should you do in case a tire blows out? Don't slam on the brake. Increase the speed of the car just a little to pull it out of the swerve it goes into when the tire goes down. If you've gained control of your car and straightened it up, then bring it to a gradual stop. But on a Dodge, you know, you have an additional margin of safety. On all four wheels, you have the Dodge safety rim. We were illustrating that this morning on the backstretch for the movie cameras. For the purpose of comparison, he had the regular Dodge safety rim wheels removed and ordinary wheels put on. That left front tire has a piece of dynamite behind it. Keep an eye on it now as Jimmy deliberately blows the tire out. And look at that tire, will you? See how it flops from side to side and comes clear off the wheel. That wheel is removed and the regular Dodge safety rim wheel is put back on. That's Mrs. Jimmy Lynch at the wheel this time to show how easy it is, even for a woman, to handle a Dodge car in case of a blowout. Again, the tire is dynamited. Only this time, even though the tire is shot, it stays right on the rim and allows Mrs. Lynch to bring her car to an easy, safe, straight line stop. In order to understand why a Dodge safety rim wheel will hold a tire as no other rim can, let's compare them. First, the ordinary rim. If we sawed a piece right out of the rim, this is how it would look in cross-section. When a tire is mounted on the rim, 
a cross section of the tire would look like this. The tire beads simply rest on the shoulders of the rim, held in place by the inflated tube. But watch what happens when that inner tube goes flat. The tire bead slips off the shoulder into the well and the tire flops. Now in contrast, the cross section of the Dodge safety rim, which is part of the wheel, would look like this. The main difference is in the contour of the shoulders. On the safety rim, notice the life-saving safety hump. When a tire is mounted on that rim, the beads are gripped inside that hump. The inflated tube is not required to keep the tire in place. So when the tube goes flat, the humps still hold the tire beads in position. That little, seemingly insignificant hump there may be the difference between life and death. That is why, even when a tire is blown with dynamite, it still clings to the wheel, making it easier for the driver to bring the car to a safe, straight line stop. And that's just another reason why I use Dodges in these shows and for my personal and family cars too. <laughs> What goes on? There's a car on the track down there that doesn't belong there. See who it is. Get him out of there. There goes Whitey Reese in another car trying to catch him. Jimmy Lynch just tells me that man is handcuffed in there. Stop him, somebody. Light the firewall, boys. That'll stop him. Anybody head him off? He's still ahead on the back stretch. That guy's just crazy enough to try the dive bomber crash. Whitey can't hit him. Look out. He's gonna try it. Hold it. <laughs> Stay where you are, folks. Don't rush out on the track. We have plenty of help to look after things. They've got the car back up on its wheels. And the boys, all right. I ought to beat your head in for this. Well, I wanted to show you I didn't lose my nerve. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we seem to have an added attraction, whether we want him or not. I'm going to put it up to you. Shall I let him join the death dodgers, or shall I take him out and shoot him? They want you shot. No, they don't. They want me hired. Well, how is this? If Henry can roll an automobile three times from wheel to wheel, drive it back in front of the stands, we'll give him a job. How about it? OK, come on. This show's gotten out of my hands. I don't know what's coming next. Well, they seem to be about ready now. The car's already been rolled plenty of times. In fact, the boys just ironed it out again last night. There he goes. Good luck, kid. Now remember, if anything happens, don't rush out on the track. The boys are ready for any emergency. Ambulance, fire truck, crash wagon, even old car bodies to keep him from rolling into the railing. All eyes up the track. He's rounding the curve. Ooh, watch it, watch it, the little skid there, but he pulled out of it. He's got to have just the right speed for three rolls. Take it, boy. One, two, three. Oh! Boy, what the doozy! So you wanted thrills, did you? Here he comes, back to the stands under his own power. What do you think of him, folks? You know, that's one of the thrills, too. To know that the cars you have seen perform here today are stock cars with the same safety features that make Dodge the safest car in America yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Well, how about it, Jimmy? Have we got a new Death Dodger? We sure have. Oh, Margie, well, why don't you kiss her? Did you lose your nerve? 
What do you think? And even I can't top that, folks. Remember, drive a Dodge, drive safely, and I'll see you next year. So long. Thank you.